This forecast is powered by Tilton Square Theater, Atlanta County's most comfortable movie watching experience. Good morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. I know yesterday was a really, really nice day from start to finish. We had sunny skies. We had comfortable weather. A great day to just get out there and do your chores and your errands and run all over town. I was literally running around town. I'm not going to be doing that today, especially for the first half of the day, because, well, that storm system we've been talking about for like a week, it's knocking on our doorsteps and we're going to have rain moving in. It's going to be heavy at times. It's just not going to be a nice day. But the good thing is, I'll tell you a little secret. Come here. It's not going to rain all day. The heaviest rain is probably out of here by around 2 o'clock, and then we'll start to dry out. Our big picture shows you an upper level low that's going to be right up in this area and a surface low. This is the thing that's going to be moving through and impacting our weather today, currently still out to the south and west. We have an onshore flow. It started yesterday. It's pushing more water ashore. And that's going to bring some flooding issues our way a little bit later on. I'll get there in a second. But it's really a warm event, all right, because this storm is to our west. It puts us in the warm sector, and any chance of any type of wintry precipitation is well far north and west of our region, perhaps in the Sussex and Warren County where we have a winter weather advisory in effect. But for everybody else, no, just a plain old rain. Temperature is actually starting off around... 50 degrees for some of you, a north factor of a three because it's going to be rotten out there. Rainy conditions, you'll be dodging the raindrops as you're trying to get to your car this morning for sure. 43 in Philadelphia right now, 50 in Philadelphia, in Atlantic City rather. I already said Philadelphia, it's early, forgive me. 38 in Pittsburgh, 42 in Harrisonburg, 46 down in Washington, and these are your potential gusts over the next few hours. Now, here's the thing. There's a very narrow window for crazy windy weather. We have the low level jet that's about 5,000 feet above our head just roaring at about 75 or 80 miles an hour. All it takes is a heavy downpour or a thunderstorm, which can't be ruled out a little later in the morning, to tap into some of that energy and bring it down to the surface. A percentage, not the whole piece. A percentage can make it down to the surface, and that's why I can't rule out some gust over 40 miles an hour. By 10 o'clock, this is your windiest period, between 10 and about 1 p.m., and then the storm comes through, the winds start to back down, and will become much more tranquil later on. Look at all the heavy rain coming through eastern Pennsylvania, Williamsport, Harrisburg, Lancaster. You could get a decent squall line of thunderstorms coming out of southeast Pennsylvania, and then... We'll get our fair share of heavy rain. Anywhere you see the yellows and the oranges, some thunderstorms are possible, all right? But this is at 12 o'clock. By 1, 2, 3 o'clock especially, there it goes. By, it did its damage, probably picked up a half of an inch to an inch of rain, and then it's out of here. And we'll improve our conditions for your Sunday, a healthy mixture of sun and clouds, but it will be a nicer day. Currently, we have this... Uh, flood advisory in effect, this coastal flood advisory for everybody from Sandy Hook all the way down to Cape May, including all of our Delaware Bay communities as well. It expires at 12 o'clock. It's between 7.30 and about 11.30 that we have to watch the morning tide. There will be water in the streets in the culprit areas. There will be road closures. And the farther south you go into Cape May County, the higher the tide will be, coming close to moderate. And I wanted to put moderate there because I've been telling you all week, prepare for moderate and hope for minor. I think everybody across the board is in minor flood stage. But if there's one area that's close to moderate, meaning a little more water in the streets, it's Cape May and the Wildwood area. And that's the only tide that we're watching, the morning tide today. Then later on, we don't have to worry about it. Temperatures today should go between, say, 50 and 54 a little bit colder to our north and west, uh, higher elevations of northern New Jersey, a little bit colder. 34 tonight, sky has become clear. We're breezy. We start to cool down, cooler than where we were early this morning, obviously. 47 on your Sunday, a north factor of a 7, so our conditions certainly get better. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's at Nor'easter Nick. You can also go to my website, nor'easternick.com for the very latest. A boring week ahead. Temperatures don't really vary too much. A low to mid 40s, that's about it. Partly sunny skies, no big storms coming our way, but I think by, oh, next weekend, things will get a little bit more interesting.